Hey, 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 welcome back to the training channel. So, we're going to talk um, running tonight. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, Boston Marathon. And we're going to talk about the qualifier for Boston Marathon. Now, not to give you too much information, but I'm going to kind of stick around my age group, which is 40 to 44. I'm not going to give you my age. you got to guess. Um, 42, by the way. So, the qualifying time for Boston is 310. So, let's do the math real quick on that. Uh, let me think. Carry the one. Oh, wait. It's 7 minutes and 15 second pace. So, tonight, I wanted to give that kind of a test run. Um, I've been done with my Ironman for about a week and a couple of days now. Uh, recovering so I started back light I started with a run on Monday I'm sorry a bike on Monday just an hour just to you know get loose and then I did a swim Tuesday and then Wednesday took off and then Thursday is my run so that's a new training plan that I'm working on that's uh, gonna be coming soon I'm gonna share with everybody um, basically friends and uh, family training plan that's kind of what it's going for so that's another story but we'll talk about that later but back to the topic uh boston marathon so seven minute and 15 second pace for the age group 40 to 44. so that's three hours and 10 minutes you need that qualifying time for boston marathon which you know disney's one of them um in orlando florida i think austin has one in austin texas and there's a list on the website. There's a whole bunch that are qualifiers. But it gets better. Um, they did a study, and there's a few thousand, not just a few, a few thousand people that missed it by a couple minutes over the years. So it gets worse. You might need to just do a 305 in my age group just to guarantee a slot. Or if you got ten thousand dollars under the mattress, you know, or five. I think they said lowest was a five. Ten, I think, was for two two people. Now that I remember, looking at the website, so five thousand to your local charity gets you a ticket. So I'm like, ah. So let me give it a test run. You know me, I like to give things a test run. So I want to say I give it about ninety five percent. So I'm gonna say at ninety five percent. Um, was seven minutes and 33 second pace for three miles nonstop. That's pretty good. I mean, that's, that's pretty average. Um, I probably could have pushed it a little bit harder. Um, but first off, my watch stopped. So I did 3.1 at a 7.32 pace which is 22 minutes and 43 seconds. So yeah, that's crazy taxi right there. So I just wanna let you guys kinda of soak that in and uh, put your comments down below. Let me know what you think, cause I'm like, seriously guys? And then, oh, it gets better. They give our beautiful women another 20 minutes on top of each age group. 20 minutes come on so I'd be there so I'm not a woman so that won't work so the options are remember 40 to 44 7 15 minute pace or better because you got to give yourself a, a little two minute to five minute window there to guarantee a slot or you spent 300 to 400 dollars on a marathon that's qualifying and it doesn't even count. So that's a lot of money if you think about it. I think I did the math and it was like $2 million of people that missed it by a couple minutes. So I'm like, seriously, $2 million? That's ridiculous. So I would say easy route would be the $5,000 uh, donation to your charity, which you can go online, social media, and probably raise that you know pretty quick but Boston Marathon is pretty much a dream for everybody um, 
So that's really kind of all I got tonight. Of course, I'm going to be doing something soon. Um, I'll be getting the details together on that for you guys. And then I'm going to post my post-race video here in a little bit, probably Saturday or Sunday, and then I'll post these videos. So you'll be seeing these um, after the post-race. And then I'll follow it up with what I'm going to be doing um, in the future. Um, got a pretty good plan. You guys are going to be very, very impressed and very pleased. So remember, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. And always, have a happy, happy Thursday, day before Friday.